So Evan and Are we I just are... going down the list? Yep. Alrighty. Shotgun tonight. Just bam, 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 bam. All right. Got Good. some extra content. Some <laughs> after hours content. We um, just did a Richmond meta forecast, but we're still sitting here and we still got some energy left in us. <laughs> yep. So Evan and I are going to be giving you some thoughts on uh, some cards from the upcoming set, Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, your pre-releases are starting this weekend, actually. Um, hey, oh. is there confirmation on it? Is it CSM or CEC? Is it official oh. yet? Uh, I, have, I don't I don't know. Maybe if I looked at the Pokegym posting of fact, it probably is on there. Um, I attended the College of Southern Maryland, so I'm hoping that it's CEC. <laughs> Well, did Look you at me. University of Maryland University College. I, I did not, and I don't oh. know what that acronym would be. Uh, UMUC. Yeah. Oh. University of Maryland mean? University College. Uh, so, um. That yeah, sounds like weird. University, university. It is, and like they actually had to like rename their whole thing recently, so. Right now, I'm trying to see if I can answer Nick's question about. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so anyway... That's the legend. That's a stupid question. Just it, ignore it, it. It is. I was just curious about Stop it. Stop distracting I just, me. I just want to avoid my, my college... Um, my college shell shock. That's, that's all. There you go. It, it brings back uh, memories that Nick would like to forget. <laughs> so, when I put together this list, there is no rhyme or reason to the order of any card we're going to talk about in the order how it's ordered mm -hmm. um we pretty much left off anything that um it's cute but and when we had to say it's cute but we just said nah so like you're going to see people talking about excadrill you're going to see people talking about raichu you're going to see people talking about steelix um i i had no interest in covering those cards just because i don't think they're as you know i think there's something people are going to test and then abandon within days of play testing it um so the cards that we're going to look at um we felt kind of warranted you look into it um and our rating system is it's a good card it's an okay card and it's a trap like um Good is you're going to see it in tier one decks, or it's starting a tier one deck on its own. Okay is, uh, you know, it's got some niche uses. It might be a tier two deck. It might be like support for a tier one card. And our it's a trap rating is, it's not necessarily bad, but if you buy into it at like a ridiculous pre release price, you're going to feel really bad about doing it. Um, also for okay, could it be, it's not good now, but it might be good later if the right card came out. Yeah. Yeah. So the first card, it's one of my favorite Pokemon, so I probably why it's first on the list is the new Savali GX. Um, if you don't know what it does, it's got 210 hit points. It's, um, ability is called disc reload. You draw two, you have five cards in your hand. Um, it's attack for two colorless is called I I, I've seen it as buddy brave and I've heard other people call it sensitive blade I like buddy brave mostly because his boy gladians in the back of the Picture it does like a base of 50 if you've played a supporter that turn it does an extra 70 damage and then uh, Yes, my lady white knight GX is <laughs> the GX attack where if your opponent's active Pokemon is an ultra beast It's just straight up knocked out Sort of like sublimation. Like a lot of these, uh, like this whole card is callbacks to other cards. Um, starting with the disc reload, the the thing it's most known for, um, being ha literally being the exact same thing as Octillery from Breakpoint, with the saying, hand. yeah, saying once during your turn you can draw until you have five, and that's and that's the biggest reason why this card is getting hype. Yeah, I mean, the 2 for 120 isn't bad. Um, you know, you're we're, some of the format's shifting to, like, some two-shot capability that isn't the end of the world. Um, I don't know. I feel like my GX attack being White Knight would have to involve, like, um, Gessler or Naganadal as, like, the tag team KO. Um, we'll talk about that card later on. But, yeah, Disc Reload and... Um, Buddy Brave are probably my favorite parts of the card. I think this is a good card. Um, 
I think with the advent of these tag team supporters, there's a whole lot of options to discard your hand, get a really cool effect, and now you can still draw cards off of it. Um, I, y'all, y'all might tear me a new one for this, but I don't think Octillery was good back in the day. But because of how the fundamental, the fundamentals of the meta have completely changed from back when Octillery was a thing. Um, Savali has a much better place now. And additionally, it can attack and has a GX move. Mm -hmm. And can be searched with um, Cherish Ball. Well, obviously, it would be like, well, you could search Octillery with Level Ball. It's like, all right, fine, but... um, I think one problem a lot of people are going to have with this card is they're trying to give it a straight comparison to Zoroark GX, mm. and it's not as good as Zoroark GX. Like it's, it's a more balanced version of the card. Um, we like you. I mentioned the tag team supporters, and we're going to get into those a lot later on. But there's not a whole lot of hand thinning cards, so you might get one really good draw out of your Savalis. And then you might be drawing one after that. Whereas Zorark, you could always draw two as long as you had a card. I mean, expanded prop trading. Like, mm-hmm. it, it definitely is not a new Zorark. Yeah. Um, going back to the attack, you can... I think um, the thing about this card that I'm most interested in is obviously that it will be... In other decks to help, um, since it's a splashable attacker, and um, it'll help consistency stuff. The main thing I'm interested in is Savali GX Volcarona. Um, yeah, we'll definitely talk about Volcarona down the line, but that is a really neat card deck. Um, that that will be for a later video. Um, well, no, just yeah, or later, later on this list. Alrighty. Um, I mean Savali Volcarona specifically. That's like a whole. Oh, yeah, I mean that's deck a that'll be talked. We'll talk about the later. Volcarona later yeah. on, and like why they kind of synergize together. Um, but mainly Savali. If you buy the card, you'll find some use for it. So like. I don't see you buying the card and then being disappointed. Like, if right. you buy this card, you should be able to find some use in your deck form. Mm-hmm. Like, the only time you may be disappointed is, like, if your opponent manage to, manages to pull off, like, a turn two cross division with Giratina on your type nulls. And then we're just talking, like, a really specific scenario of your two Savalas went offline on turn two of the game, but that shouldn't be a common enough occurrence for you to say this card is bad. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about Savali? Good card. Worth buying. Yep. Um, just don't pay too much for cards, but you want to... I think that's what we're mostly going for with the good cards, is like we can definitively say that you will not be disappointing with, disappointed with buying this card. Yeah, uh, the one thing I'll say about it is just, like, watch what you're paying on hyped-up pre-release prices. <laughs> I mean, the card may, is probably going to settle somewhere between 10 and $15 because it's not a card for every deck. Um, it's not a replacement for Dedenne. It's, it's its own entity, and it's got to find its own place in the format. Um, next up, uh, this is one of my favorites, Megalopony and Jigglypuff. Oh, GX. I love it, too. Like, it's the tag team you didn't know you want to exist. I will be buying alternate arts of this card and full <laughs> arts of this card. Yeah. Um, I definitely said it's a good card. Easily. Um, Easily. You got a colorless attack that for three energy does 60 plus 60 for every GX EX on your opponent's side of the field. That damage goes up real high real fast. Um, a lot of people will say this spells the death of Picaron. Maybe. Um, I mean, they they thrive on having Pikazek, Choo Choo, Zara Aura, Dedenne. You can't have a small GX bench and play 
Picarom. It's for every GX. That's crazy. Okay. Like, is no, like can Nick? Can you go back to the uh, uh, to the, the actual trend. text? Yeah, I'm. I'm looking at the card. I thought it was pretty since you were talking <laughs> about alternate arts. Yeah, each Pokemon EX and GX. Yeah. Um, that so, just adds up way too fast. Um, I do. Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, one thing I do um, want to bring up, other than Picarom, is people have mentioned. Does this bring back Mewtwo Wars? Oh yeah, like does the, this bring back Mewtwo Wars? You'll just jumping balloon them, insta kill. Yeah, what? and then you get jumping balloon back, and you know how does it go down? Um, I'm not a huge fan of Puffy Smasher, the GX attack where it's like you put your opponent's active to sleep and then you snipe for 200. It's not the worst GX attack, but it doesn't just make me go, oh yeah, this is this is beautiful. How many uh, energy for the bonus does it have? Uh, four. four. Yeah. So you're if you're gonna do the base oh, attack. see if you're gonna have if you're gonna get five, you may as well just go for cross division mm-hmm. if you're trying to snipe, because cross division literally says put the <sighs> you can spread out your damage, but this is only a one two hundred damage. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you can finish off like a GX EX that you've hit. Um, you could Giratina to hit some of those 210 guys and then Puffy Smasher to, you know, finish off the back. Um, I feel like if you're even trying to pull this off, you need to play, like, at least one Slumbering Forest for, like, the sleep turn. Um, otherwise, like, half your Jix attack is wasted, putting them to sleep. I think it'll... F- it, f- it will fill a similar role, if not replace, Mancargo in um, Mewtwo because the Jumping Balloon... It seems like it'll get one shots mostly all the time, um, and then it. I think Puffy Smasher will just be like uh, m- the Magma Eruption mm-hmm. one, the the GX move, uh, Magma Flow or something, Lava Flow. I yeah. think um, it'll be that niche. I was like, huh, I never knew I needed this specific GX attack in this situation. And like I'm not even sure I take out the mag cargo because the utility of the mill five GX mm-hmm. attack is you know in the Pidgey control matchup you're gonna appreciate having that over oh the cure sleep uh, or in Guru and now I want to type a Pidgey for two hundred this feels terrible <laughs> yeah, so. oh yeah that does sound yeah. so. you'd rather just cross division yeah so I would say this is definitely a buy into it card you probably don't need more than like one or two copies of it like I wouldn't. Invest in a playset of Lopunny and Jigglypuff. Four alternate art. Ma- Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff, Welder, the deck. It's yeah. just four bunnies, and you just... I, I just hope you don't play against Spa. I definitely want the alternate art of this. <laughs> They're just snuggling. It's, it's literally like Jigglypuff's like a pillow, and Lopunny's just cuddling with it. <laughs> Busting. So, Restram, Zekrom, Jig. The poster boy of the set, the big boy. Um, I know this has caused like some divide in like people I've talked to and like my opinions I've expressed on it. We got for a fire and an electric, you do ninety times the amount of three energies discarded off your benched Pokemon, so you can get up to two seventy. And then you have Fire, Fire, Electric, Electric, and you snipe for 170. And if you've played Ends Resolve this turn, you get to do two snipes for 170. Um. I'm weird about this card. I've watched several people play decks with it, and I haven't seen a build of it that just makes me go, yeah, this is great. Like, um, I feel like Ends Resolve, you only need one of in the deck because it's such a hit or miss card. And I guess they never miss, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's great because like you just unlock the tag team effect on it right away, and like you can slam two Dedenes real quick and grab four prizes. But I think like using ends resolve as the engine for the deck is bad, and I don't really like the idea of just having like the one copy in there for the GX sniping. Um, it's not terrible but you know i've also seen people like go the naganado route with the dene to like speed through your deck and then they're trying to throw in like the other um fire attackers like heatran and um turtonator and then it feels like your whole deck just starts to clump up 
in trying to get it together now that you have lightning and fire and welder and turtonator and heat. I, you know, I think it's like the most okayest card I've ever seen. Like, it does what it needs to do and it does it well. But I think it's going to settle on do we have a um, format based on tag teams or do we have a format based on GXs and spas? Yeah. Um, I have not done any testing on the card. And based on initial thoughts, um, see, I am the kind, I am broke. And I'll only, I'll only buy a card under certain conditions, and I didn't buy Reshizard immediately. I just wait. It was like thirty dollars. Like I, I was like, oh no, I am not paying thirty dollars for Reshi. I think that's way overhyped. Like I know the card's good. It will be played, um, but I am not paying thirty dollars for this card. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'm using the same logic for Reshi, uh, Reshzek. I'm not buying it. Yeah, I, I mean, personally am not buying. it. I feel like if you want to buy into it, like you're not going to regret your investment because it is a good card. But I feel like it's um, one of those things where you're going to walk into a cup full of mirror matches or a regional full of mirror matches, and then you'll have to ask yourself, is that the mirror match you want to play all day? And I feel like it's going to come down to um, if somebody is playing an ends resolved based engine and they just manage to go the full 270 turn one and get up on you, it feels bad. Um, next up, Charizard and Breaks and GX. When I first saw the card, I loved it. Um, mm. But as the meta is progressing, I'm unsure about it. But the attack itself, I think, is crazy because it's a fire type. Mm-hmm. You have synergy with Welder and stuff. But um, I think... It's it seems crazy being able to do 180 damage and then get a Stevens resolve. Yeah. Um but the card itself like as I thought more and more about it, I'm more unsure about it. It's like I personally am unsure. I can't definitively tell you that, "Oh yes, buy this right now. Buy this right now." I'm unsure about it. I think if you hit it at the right price, like if you could find it under $10, you're not going to regret it. Um, If you've got something in mind and you find it more than $10, okay, cool. Go for it. Um, But I think I'd rather, like, if I'm going over $10, I'd almost rather just buy Savali's. I think it's kind of like just an extra tool in, like, Mew Mew. Um... I've heard some people talking like a control variant with it, and I just did that like you can buff your hand with uh, the attack, you can accelerate energies with the GX attack. I'd want to see more of it before I could say anything definitive on it. If- I'm looking at the energy requirement for this card, and that's what I'm fixated right now. It's got uh, fire, 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 and one colorless. Mm-hmm. I want to. Um, in expanded, I want a welder turn one right. and attach fire mm-hmm. manually to a Mew Mew and then mm. play D Valley and just use the attack first turn. That's all I can think about right now. Um, the biggest idea that I have with this card that I was thinking about is running is replacing it, replacing Reshizard with this, mm-hmm. and then we have we now have way more healing like the Mallow and Lana which we'll mention later um, like these tag team supporters that you can use and I don't think you have to completely rely on grooms like you can still use greens but I don't think you have to completely rely on it because you have this search up to three car any three cards I um, mean you can use other tag team supporters but we basically we have more support for this uh, for greens variants um, but We'll and I think, them. like, you're in a dangerous place to say take out Reshizard because I think Guardian is a deck that kind of thrives with this set coming out. That's true. Um, they do have a Dragon Charm to deal with 
uh, Reshi's deck, um, and they're going to hit it for weakness. They're going to hit the creation trio for weakness. Um, it was a deck that was already kind of on the upturn with um, other charms that work out well. Um, it also gets Caitlyn and Cynthia, which is like an upgraded version of Coach Trainer. I think it just gets so many tools that like you can't discard, discount Reshi's, uh, Reshizard and... You know, mm -hmm. if you're saying it's the replacement for Reshi's art, I don't think it's got a place in a deck, you know, in that light. Maybe. But what's yeah. I, I missed it. What's the proper portmanteau for this? Is it Charzen or Brazard? Uh, I like Charizard Blaine. and Brixen. <laughs> it's one, it's kind of like Espeon and Deoxys where like no one abbreviates that one. Like I've seen a few people. I say SB SB Oxus. Yeah, I mean I've seen a few people. I would say Brazard. Them, you know, like we have Reshizard, Brazard. Mm. Maybe. I, I I think Brazard flows better. It, it does have a nice ring to it if we're going to portmanteau it. All right, so Evan will be happy. Next up is Volcarona GX. I I I like this card. Um, I cannot see it being super expensive. I think it is a good investment. I would pick, I'm going to pick up, I can tell you that I will pick up some Volcaronas. Um, it's just like Decidueye, but now it's a stage one and has fire. It, it can attack itself. So instead of... Um, having a mediocre uh, razor leaf attack, mm -hmm. we have backfire, which synergizes with itself. Mm -hmm. um, you can do fine damage that um, it is in a prime meta for fire, um, and the ability synergizes with Savali. Yeah. So um, it works out well, and I think the biggest thing of why this deck works this card works is because it's a fire type. That's literally the reason <laughs> it's good. If it was not a fire type, I, it would be a no for me. Yeah, I mean, um, my embarrassing story on this card is I was in the middle of watching somebody's like playtest video with this. And I'm like, wow, they completely misplay this card. Because when I read it, I thought it had to be active to use its ability. Oh. And I was like, man, this card's so bad. And then I start looking, I'm like, Oh, I misread this. This card's actually really dumb. Um, dumb in a good way. But, yeah, and I think there's even some merit in its GX attack, like being able to bump one energy off all your opponent's Pokemon. For just one energy. For just one energy. Um, you know, uh, one of the next cards we'll talk about, I've, I especially see it as a nice thing to use against that. But... Um, yeah, the synergy with Savali is ridiculous. Um, it's got the tag support with um, red and blue. Um, we'll get there, too, as we go down the list. But, uh, next up is the Gallade. I like this card. Um, I think it's missing some things, but it's got some really good things going for it, too. Its entire evolution line is psychic, so you've got mysterious treasure for your consistency. Um, nice. Yeah. It, and then when you get to Glade, it is a fighting and a psychic type, so you pick up weakness on... You pick up weakness with resistance after on Dark Box. You pick up weakness on um, Puffy Smashers. <laughs> you pick up weakness on uh, you know the electric deck, and you pick up weakness on Mew Mew. I, I like that. Because I can't remember a time since, like, 2005 where you have to calculate both weakness and resistance right? at Break the same pump. time. Steam Siege? What cards had weakness and resistance on them, though? Oh, okay. Like, weakness and... This, on the same attack. Like, because right. fire and water, there aren't Pokemon that are weak to fire and resistant to water, or vice versa. Are you talking about um, when they used to have four weakness specifically, it would say... Fire and water, or are you no. talking about if I am a psychic and a fighting type, and it's I like hit into a dark type? So yes. like, yeah. Oh, um, we had that in Steam Siege with um, Mega Gardevoir. Yeah, the psychic fairy. 
Yeah, and like Bisharp. So the big example the was Bisharp. I, the biggest uh, example was Bisharp yeah, okay. was because you could swing into Mega Guardi for double, but the resistance put it below yeah. the n- damage you needed. So yeah, I mean it's been a while, but like it's a really <laughs> it's a really cool thing that you need to make sure you know the ruling that you increase before you decrease. Yeah. Um, the two the one twenty is a nice enough number. Um, it gets like uh, Mew Mew. You're missing the one shot, but you can place spell tags on it. Heck yeah! And then you can throw three damage counters onto the Mewtwo <laughs> and pick up the knockout anyway. Um, the energy cost is kind of awkward, but it's colorless, and you can play Welder Engine with it. So why not? Um, it's colorless, so you can play Coco Dance of the Ancients with it. Um, it's colorless. You can play Draw Energy with it. Attach, draw a card. There are so many ways you can pay this attack cost, but like it is one of those weird cards where it can get punished by Volcarona's uh, GX attack because you're going to move the energy back to something, and so now your energy is spread out again, and you can just um, drop the GX and knock all their one attachment away um, away is off. Um, another card that comes out in this set that I think really helps it is uh, Rosa. Where you get to search your deck for like a was an energy of Pokemon and a trainer card. One if one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. Oh, we'll be um, talking about this card. Yeah. Well, oh, 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 rubs the hands. Up, but like rubs the hands. I think delayed is like your value play out of this set where like it's cheap enough. Like um, it's a rare or a hollow with common and uncommon. Baby evolutions. You've you should probably already have spell tags. Um, probably your worst matchup is Malamar because you don't hit Giratina's for weakness. But again, like that spell tag math can fix it because you hit one twenty, you get knocked out. You spell tag it for the knockout, and you get three damage counters somewhere else too. Does Giratina have resistance to fighting though? Mm-mm. Or uh, maybe. I don't remember. Probably does. Yeah, because that makes a difference. That, I'm, yeah. I'm fairly certain it does. Um, but go go on while I'm looking it yeah. up. For Gala, you could also run triple acceleration energy. Yeah, I mean you could. Yeah, you were just listing off all the options, and I noticed that you'd missed triple. Yeah. So. Uh, I I am looking it up, guys. It was right. There. Go back up. So that's oh an eBay God. listing. It, it won't. Wow, yeah, what? there's too many there's too many Giratinas. <laughs> Scroll back up. That was right an eBay there. Listing. It's right there. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's, it's minus twenty. Jeez. Yes. Okay, so yeah, then Jeez. it gets even worse because you have what? to spend three of your spell tag damage to get that knockout on Giratina. So I think that's like your bad matchup with it. Um Peak uh Reshizek is kinda bad because you're not hitting for you're not even able to pick up the knockout with uh, spell tags. You're just hitting for 120, and you're going to be trading like uh, two for three at best. So, uh, I'm too scared to play. Two. It's a stage two, so it's a no for me. The card itself is good, but stage two is not good. Stage twos are not fun for me. Yeah, it's one of those cards that, like, um, in the future, it could probably be really good. But, like, like I said, something get, you can play with Jirachi. Your Jirachi gets knocked out. You play Rosa, you get Rare Candy, the evolution you're missing. So, it's got a lot of neat options. It's Pokemon neat. Company, hear my plea. Make Rare Candy work the way it used to. I want to play this the Stage 2s, mm-hmm. so bring it so you can just Rare Candy them right away. Oh. <sighs> Basic energy. Uh, it would well. be so cool if Rosa got your Gallade, the Rare Candy, and the Triple Exonic. Well, you know, that we would. can't have too much. We can't have an offense. Uh, next card, Mimikyu, with the uh, ability. The Shadow Box. Yeah, Shadow Box. Um, man, oh. is this a divisive card? I love it. Yeah. Buy it. Buy, yeah. buy, 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 buy. You play it with Shrine, you shut down Mew pretty handily. Um, I think like your worst case scenario in that is the Mew, Mewtwo player goes first. They put down Chaotic Swell, which we'll talk about later, and then you don't get a shrine down. 
The busted combo that I thought of that I know will people will, ev will eventually think of, so I'll just mention it here. Mm -hmm. Mimic you, shadow box with Pidgeotto control. Yeah, I mean I've seen that a couple places too. Yeah, so. like I want to be at least able to say like I jumped on that before the train, before everyone else <laughs> did. I said it before it was cool, but it will be thought of. Um, Busted. I really like the illustration on this. Right? Yukamori. Okay, yeah, she's good. Yeah, and the other Mimikyu is kind of neat, too, with the impersonate, where you can copy a supporter Ooh. for one colorless energy. Mm -hmm. um, double welder. It was not on, like, my initial list, but, yeah, like Evan was just saying, the double welder ability, double red and blue in one turn is kind of neat. Um, yeah, you know, different things. So... Here's a weird one. Saul's book. No. Instant no from me, no. Instant, it makes me curious. If it's active, draw a card. Two for 50, then retreat back to the bench. Grass um, and a colorless. I'm reading it right now, and it just says, once during your turn, draw a card. It doesn't yeah. say anything about being active. Oh, there you go. Um, I've been watching a couple people hype up uh, Saul's book control. Okay, the all right. So I was thinking about floor juice and sauce. Book. Yes, that is the uh, sauce book control. <sighs> it, it's, I didn't see the ability, but thinking about the bounce is like the bounce is like a no from me. But season's blessing, that is a good ability. Yeah, I mean, if you just sit there and bounce between sauce books and the uh, Clefairy doll. Yep, we'll get to that. But I think that's busted. Yeah. Um, so, right along with that, uh, Floet and, uh, man, I can't think of the third form of that flower. Florges? <laughs> yeah, they have an ability that when you evolve to them, when you go to the stage one, you get to choose one card from your opponent. You don't look at it, you randomize it, uh, pick a card from their hand, shuffle it back into their deck. And when you go to the stage two, you get two cards out of their hand, back into their deck. And the uh, Floet, the basic that you haven't seen in 3,000 years. So Floet's the stage one, Flo yep, not the basic. Mm. Okay, so there you go. Flo Baby has the shuffle one from the hand back into the deck. The floor just has shuffle two from hand back into deck. And there's a Floet. No, Flo, you, you're, Flo you're Baby. That right. has, so Flo Baby is the basic. Yeah. That you can evolve a, on the second... If you go second, you can instantly evolve. Mm -hmm. And then Flabebe is the one. Flores is two. Yeah. So, it's just a neat hand disruption. I had personally thought that the Flores they were talking about, instead of the two-card one, uh -huh. was the um, one where you, once per turn you can flip a coin if heads put an item, item back. back on top of the deck. Mm, it could be. Maybe it is, but... I just think either way you play it, they're neat. So if you, so if you have, so the reason Sawsbuck is an instant no from me mm -hmm. is because Pidgeotto is already thing, and it's also searchable by Elms. Mm -hmm. So like we already have Pidgeotto, why should I be playing Sawsbuck? Because you get to attack uh, for grass and the colors, uh, and its retreat cost is higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling it. Just use Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Flygon GX. Oh, we know who's hyping up this card. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another one of those cards that goes really good with red and blue because it has an awkward attack cost of like fighting, 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 or fighting, fighting, colorless. Something that you can't accelerate outside of... Black Belt. Red and Karate Belt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but you have to be behind on prizes. Um... So was it 120 plus another 120 if there's a stadium in play, if I remember Then right. discard yes. that. Yeah, so it's Nito with Martial Arts Dojo. Ooh. You go up to 250 damage with it. Um, if you're behind, that becomes uh, 280. Or 280, yeah. Um, or plus was 30. it 290? Because don't you get the plus 10 anyway if you have the fighting in 10 is base. Yeah. And then plus 40. So it would be just 40. Okay. It's like 40 instead of 20. There you go. So you hit 280, which outside of Carp Lord is one shot on everything. Um, and his ability where he reduces damage to him to all Pokemon by 30. 30. 
I think that's good. I that, like that's that. That's silly. Like, it, it, you know, you can't snipe a whole lot of bench stuff with anything because the 30 reduction is just good. It changes so much. Yeah. Um, the main strategy was with island the island amulet, mm-hmm. which we'll talk about later. Um, just go ahead and drop it to 140, but because of the sandstorm, it basically has 170. And it's now one prizer, so... <laughs> And but you're one shotting. Like you have this it was intended to be a GX that can trade with other GXs and tag teams, but now I'm making it into a one prizer that one shots you. Yeah. So, you know, if uh Lysander Lab stays prevalent, which it might with uh charms and tags and all that, and you negate the island amulet, it's you know, it's good, but if you're not... You gotta do 270, you know, though. Yeah, you still have to do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Or, if you really wanted to be... I like how this card... The card might not be good, but I think it's a great... It It is very well designed. Um, I love how this card is designed on how you can either use Amulet to drop it to, and make it a one prizer, or so instead you can make it a one prize glass cannon, mm-hmm. or you can drop the red and blues with black, um, black karate belt, belt. Uh, yeah, karate belt, um, or you can slap a choice helmet and make it 300 health. Like, yeah. there's so many options for the card, but again, it's a stage two, and that bothers me a lot. I don't like stage two cards. But Flygon itself is good. I think it'll always be a five dollar card. Or less. Yeah, I mean I've seen a couple sites selling it at five, and that seems like really reasonably priced. Um, the one thing that I think holds it back is red and blue has the you have to be able to naturally evolve it anyway clause on it. Like it's what makes me like get really torn on red and blue. Um, and I, I'll wait till we get to that card to actually state your state grievances. Why I'm torn on it, but you know, Flygon in and of itself is pretty neat. Uh, the Creation Trio, Arceus Dialga, Palkia. When you see it for the first time, it's like, oh man, this is nuts. But I think after some thoughts. Like if you think about it a little, it may it's kind of like eh, maybe it's not as hype as I thought it would. But like you look at it, it's like ultimate ray. Search for any three basics in any way you like. It is a crazy version of full blitz. Picaram was so good, you got to look for three lightning and put them on a Pokemon. This says any three basic in any way you like. And then all, the GX attack is basically an inverted uh, full metal um, wall um, from Lucarian Mal Metal. And instead of reducing, you get to do 30 more. And if you hit the bonus, the, uh, the threshold... Um, you get to get an extra prize if you knock out the active. So thankfully you can't go altered creation, snipe stuff on the bench, and take the extra prize. It has to be from the active. But that's still crazy. It's crazy. That If you can make it work, the card itself is crazy, but it's getting there is my main concern. I'm looking at this and thinking of the well Deo combo, as people are calling it, Welder Deo, Weldia. where you would just, um, just you know, welder onto the Pokemon. You would then do like you know two fire. Then you do water as your normal attachment, and then you'd switch out one of the two fires with a rainbow brush for a metal, and bam, you've got the energy requirement. Turn one, you're doing 150, and you're getting those three extra energy cards from the attack. So there's the big problem in that phallus, in that logic, though, is yeah. you don't want Ultimate Ray as your first attack. You want Altered Creation as your first attack. That, too. If you don't do Altered Creation, the card is useless. Um, and if you play the deck with Rayquaza GX, you can knock 
it, uh, the metal or the water into the discard pile. Energy switch it up to the active. Viridian for whatever energy you're missing. And you can get turn one altered creation. And, like, I like the builds that I've been looking at where you're only playing one Rayquaza and, like, a two energy switch, two tag switch. Because, like, if you're going first and your first attack of the game on turn two is altered creation, it's not bad. But if you're going second and your first attack on turn four of the game is altered creation, it's a lot worse. Um, getting to play it with Keldeo for the pure heart ability where you can just wall out a bunch of stuff. And you that 140, you're going to one-shot all the single prizers except for a couple. Um, it's pretty good. Now, where I think this card does the best, though, is an Expanded, where you can play Double, double dragon, dragon Energy and just drop Altered Creation on the first turn of the game. Um, <laughs> I, and then you're just like, oh, look, now I attach one more Energy and I can Ultimate Ray with it. So, um, And I've seen like a couple of people play it as like a tanky deck where you play like a heavy super scoop-up count... Um, and you play Beloba and Bryson Man to like drop your drop them off your bench once you set up a couple Keldeos. That way they can't try to grab your three prizers. Um, Altered Creation with uh, Great Catcher against a Dene makes it into a two knockout game. Um, it, it's a very it's like a really I want it to be good. But I also say it's okay just because, like, it's going to take a lot of crafting for that deck to be good. Like, you're not just going to wake up and go, I've got the most god-amazing play you've ever seen. Watch this. <laughs> um, my main concern is you're using, first off, you're using your GX attack to set up. Yep. Then, not only that, you're taking an attack that you're not really doing much. It's, it's like my same gripe with Clear Vision. Clear Vision is a great GX move. Mm -hmm. However, when you think about it, it's like, oh, okay, I'll just knock you out. Yeah. Uh, it's like, okay. Um, but I think the one thing this has is that it's got 110 extra HP on top of yeah. Laddie. Um, but the thing I was going to think about was it's scary because... All right, so your big bonus is taking an extra prize, mm -hmm. but you need to take, you need to attack in order, you need to be able to attack enough in order to get that bonus, in order for that bonus to pay off. If I'm a Mewtwo player and I go first and I drop a Welder and then you manage to get off your Alter Creation and then I just go, okay, I'll just Flare Blitz you. Mm -hmm. I just took three prizes. Are you going to be able to get... Because you spent your energy for an altered creation and then you just lost that um, Holy Trinity or, or create creation trio, mm -hmm. um, because you mentioned I set up altered creation, then attach, then ultimate ray. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many more steps in that as, as instead of welder, flare blitz. So I guess, like, you make the argument, too, of... Does Shadow Box check Mew Mew enough that you can get around it? Mm, man. And I mean, oh. it, it's a question of like probably something we'd look at in uh, what the Daytona meta yeah. call on what's been seen, hype, what's not, you know, going from there. I'm. I think it falls. In my opinion, it falls under it's a trap or you could wait and see what happens. It's a, it's not like you should be pre-ordering it right now. Like, pick them up now, now, now. It's wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like not to be discouraging, but even I, like, even one of us, I don't think that I or you, the viewer, have much of a chance of finding the god, the perfect 60. It, it's one of those, I'm going to let someone else figure it out. Like, <laughs> let it marinate, let the price go down a little, let people think about it, and then we'll see. And even Story then, <laughs> and then even then, 
there's way more potential in expanded. And by the time we get to the next expanded regionals, the price will go down. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just, you can, I would say, wait on the card. Yeah. You don't need to be snatching it up right now. I mean, if you find it in that under $10 bin, you found a sweet spot for it. Yeah. And, like, I'd even be pressed to say, like, $5 would be a great buy on it. Um, though the uh, statue art of it. Oh, for the <laughs> statue art? That, well, that, that just changes the whole conversation. You yeah. better be snatching up those statue arts. Right, right. I love the statue art. All I, right. I don't have it queued up, so it's all we'll good. look at it later. Yeah. Uh, Naganado and Guzzlord GX. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, Zach to convince me on this one, but I I'm not convincing you on anything. Okay. I think it's a horrible card. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. I was about to say like I was gonna say instant no, but I'll let Zach have a chance. This to... is your I'm gonna win the pre-release card. <laughs> Maybe it's um, a trap. It's a trap. It's yeah. a trap. Like, Chaos Ord is a trap. Where, where we normally say you play four, you know, one po- one Pokemon GX thirty nine <laughs> energy. You now you play d- like ten energy and thirty Pokemon. They're all stage and, twos and stage one. So you just you, no, it so doesn't you, matter. You just gluttony every turn. No, but you would them. rather just start with yeah, Naginatal yeah. and Guzzlord. Like you don't want to start with right. the basic, right. And then just get donked. You want to start with this, and then just have a bunch of stage one and stage two. Just go, okay, uh, gluttony. So before we keep gluttony. confusing people, his ability gluttony is you can discard a Pokemon once per turn and heal sixty damage. Then for Psychic Dark Colorless, you deal one eighty, and then the GX is uh, was it base Psychic? Uh, base colorless. Base colorless. Flip and over. if you have the psychic and dark in addition to it, uh, the base effect is flip over all your prizes, and then if you have the extra psychic, extra dark, take two of those prizes. Yeah. Wow. So um, this card is going to draw you in and make you go, wow, this seems really busted. Well, most GX attacks are probably going to take you two prizes anyway. Or even three prizes. And that's what I was going to say. Is like oh when you figure in that you could get three prizes off your GX or two. Why not go for the ones that get you two or three? Um, I would draw on historical context to pass judgment on this card. Mm-hmm. In in that when Cartana GX came out, right? It's mm-hmm. f- you get a free prize off of its GX attack. But the problem I remember you Zach were yep. bringing up was, okay, you get a prize, but you're doing an attack and you're not eliminating a threat on your opponent's side of the board. Yeah. So I think you have the same problem here. And, like, the only deck that I see this remotely good in, and maybe there are other places that I'm not seeing right now, is in Dark Box. And having to put in Psychic Energy feels bad, and you can close out the game for 30 energy to take your last two prizes... But the biggest problem I see with this card is that red box under its name that says Ultra Beast. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to the first card we talked about, Savali with his White Knight GX. You just clear this thing off the field for two energy, and you take three prizes. Mm-hmm. So um, I have a hard time saying this thing is anything but like some binder fodder. It literally is. It's a trap. Yeah. Um, but I also want to point out that... It's psychic dark colorless. That's, it's not the literally exact same, but it pretty much is the exact same as um, Arceus, Palkia, and Diago. Like if you're gonna set this thing up, you may as well be playing a Creation Trio right. deck. And like I feel like when I'm playing a tag team that I can mean three energy two, I don't want a vanilla attack. That's god awful. Yeah. That's all. Um, Blastoise and Piplup GX. I love it. It's so I love cute. It. It's adorable. It's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. So it's rocking in a good 270 HP. It's a uh, triple water for what, 150? Or uh, 100? Water, water, colorless. Okay, 150. Water, you, you may attach up to three water from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then heal 50 from each of those Pokemon for each energy you attach them. Ooh. I've been like watching a couple people, um, and then the GX is what water, water, water colorless, colorless, nope. water, water, colorless, bubble base, launcher. paralyze, 
And then if you have a couple extra energy, you get 150 bonus damage. My Hummum Bubba Launcher! <laughs> I love the name of this. My, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge JoJo fan. My Hummum Bubba Launcher! <laughs> <laughs> The um, hum on bubble launch. <laughs> it synergizes well with green. Um, and Caitlin and Cynthia on top of green where you can recycle your greens. There's also a Malo and Lana. Kyogre in this set. Oh, yeah. That for one energy, you can get two water back from your discard and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you'd like. So the attack no, costs... Wait, well, hold on. Is it- attach... W- Two water from eat your discard pile to one of your bones. Okay. It's so, not in any way you like. Okay, so even if it's not any way you like, it's That's still, still an easy way to like offset an awkward attack cost. Because like, you have those tag supporters that can let you discard. You could play Viridian to let you discard. Um, you know, there's ways to get that energy in the discard pile. And then for one energy, have your tag team one energy off of attacking. Um, I would see the deck playing, like, heavier accounts of tag switches for when, like, you uh, do his first attack and you drop three energy on itself to heal 150 and then you tag switch it to another um, Blastoise Piplup. Or you could have, like, some Keldeos in there um, for once you're set up and you're kind of done with greens. Um, And I hate that idea because if you start with Keldeo and then you don't get greens, it's just bad. But, like... Being able to tag switch it back to Keldeo and wall out with pure heart. Um, <laughs> True. Yeah. You know, but, anything? I'm sorry. You're all good. <laughs> um, you pretty much said it all. Um, I I will be buying this card. I'll be buying uh, maybe a playset. Three or... Probably three of the full art. Um, alternate art is cute. Um mm-hmm. But I think I prefer the full art. Um, but I will be buying this card. Um, maybe let it sat. Maybe let it chill the, on the price. I really don't like pre-release prices. I'm fine with waiting a little bit. Um, especially but I'm like interested. almost a month before the sets hitting any big events. Like there's not a regional on the fifteenth, so you don't have to be like, let me have them all ready to go. You have to like Daytona at the end of the month. Yeah, I love this card, but I'm not buying it immediately. I will buy it later when the price goes down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Venusaur and Snivy GX. Instant no. It, it's a hard no for me, even though it's... I don't even know if you can call it a trap necessarily. Like, oh, it's like, a trap, because you look at that ability and you're like, wow, this ability's oh. really good. Yeah, I, you're um, right. Because somebody at our shop the other night... When they saw the card, they're like, oh man, this is uh, Genesect EX all over again. <laughs> Where you no, no. They're like, no. uh, his ability is you attach a grass and you get a gust of wind effect if he's active. Um, the Venusaur tag team specifically. Yeah. Genesect, um, the Plasma Genesect, um, was a plasma energy. But also, a huge thing, a huge difference between Red Signal and. And the Shining Vine is that you have, um, I think, well, never mind. I was going to say, for a second, I thought you could use Colorist Machine. I'm like, no, you can't. You can't use Colorist Machine. I was trying to find yeah. some <laughs> optimistic view for, yep. then, we're, yeah. all, we're all looking yeah, at Genesect. It's, so it has been a while since we've seen <laughs> Genesect. Yep. Um... Yeah, and you had G-Booster, which at the time was just ridiculously good and justified you attaching extra energy to it. Whereas um, this guy, your extra energy only really pays off in the form of uh, Solar Blast, which uh, does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance for bench Pokemon. If this Pokemon is... Has at least two additional energy attached to it. Uh, you know, heal all damage from all of your Pokemon. Spread's not an arch type right now. I also want to. I think one cool, neat thing about this card: it, it's colorless, 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 and then if it has two additional energy, so you could just in theor- in some magical theory world. You could Archies and then Solar Blast. But why would you do that when you can just attach Double Psychic and Miracle Twins? Yeah. 
Like, it's like... Yeah. The one use we find it for, it's already replaced by something else. And the other great use of it is making people laugh when you declare Forrest Stump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what what do you get when uh, Forrest Gump? What, what, do you, no, what do you do? <laughs> or I was going to say... Uh, what do you do after you eat a box of chocolates? You take a forest dump. <laughs> this this card is literally a forest dump. Yep. Throw it in the trash. Put it in the train binder. Don't you don't even have to bother putting a train binder. Just throw it in yeah. the trash. There yeah. there is no world like this card is so like ugh. There's um like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um uh, maybe some cards aren't good now, but they might be good if they had a little help. No, this card no. It's an instant no. <laughs> The only thing that, like, remotely saves it is if there was a good grass Pokemon and an easy way to switch so that you could use Shining Vine. <gasps> oh, like, um, an Aromatisse or a Weavile GX, but for grass Pokemon. Yeah. That, yeah. okay, there's, there's your one use for Venusaur and Snivy GX. Mm -hmm. When we get that grass Pokemon that can move things around... You can you you can attach. I'm able to play f Sawsbuck, Shiny Venusaur. Oh my god! <laughs> um, we, we may as well design the cards instead of Pokemon. Like we're coming up, like they came out with this ugh, card, but then we're like we're finding a use for. It. Like maybe if they just came out with a card that moved around Grass Energy, then you could use this card. Yeah. But so it's a no for while me. While we're still in grass, let's go down to uh, Vileplume GX, which no. is a hard no for me. It's a hard no. It's one of those cards I don't even remember what it does. It's so forgettable, you don't so, even know what it is. Let's see. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. Again, spread is not an arch type right now. Um, Big Bloom, 180 damage. This tech does 10. Uh, less damage for each damage <laughs> counter on this Pokemon, so you need to heal yourself constantly. I mean, for Grass Colorless, uh, 180 isn't bad, but um, now, I can't even keep talking and like with the straight <laughs> face on that. <laughs> this violin is like, like um, and you know, its GX tech does 50 damage for a single Grass Energy and leaves your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned, burned, and paralyzed. Maybe you could use that with a uh, Mimi, um, but like. But me or <gasps> suffers from I have way too many GX attacks to choose from. I mean I mean uh I've specifically the big bloom. You like oh. you, you were talking about like grass colorless, two energy, one eighty damage. Maybe that's not too bad for a starting like thing. Maybe in like exp Oh exp all right, hear me out. I uh, I'm trying to find uses for these garbage cards. Here right. here's Evans. Uh, idea for how Vileplume could be used. We come back to Expanded. For a Prism Energy in D Valley, you do 180 damage. Yeah, that's sure. like. <sighs> there I you go. Stun Steel Strike though. 120 and accelerate some energy. Or Turbo Strike. Yeah, Turbo Strike. Yeah. yeah sorry. Well, at that point, you may as well just use DCE. I mean, okay. you know. <laughs> All right, um, Alolan Persian GX. This is this card that like has me back and forth on. It's I'm not sure if it's okay or if it's just a trap for you. I think it's. A um, trap. It has a wonderful ability that prevents all the damage from tag teams, Ultra Beast, and isn't it Pokemon Special, Special Energy? Energy? So every deck can play around this ability for the most part, mm -hmm. and. That's, you know, if it's biggest draw can be avoided by every deck. Eh. You play Pika Zek, just play Hoopa. And you're doing extra damage with Hoopa anyway, because it's got a Pokemon with Zap an ability, right? You have Tepe Coco, Zapdos, Dedenne. Zeroar. Zero Zero the biggest thing is Zeroar. Oh, yeah, it doesn't It doesn't protect from GX. Nope, it's it just, just tag teams. teams. That is, Specifically that tag is teams. the <laughs> fatal flaw of this card. That's mm -hmm. the, not blocking GXs is what makes this card a trap. Yeah. What about against Guardian? Well, can't uh, Xerneas get charged up and then swing and then heal? Can I just play four power plants in Guardian? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic, but right? y'all, yeah. see, it's funny because in our group chats, I'm always the one that craps on doo-doos on right. cards. It's like, no, insta-bat. But now that there's and a then, camera in front like, of you. Like, I want to be... 
like maybe I can try to find optimism. No, it's no. An, it, this <laughs> car is really no. And then like its attack is dark colorless colors for one twenty, and you'll find out in a few minutes why one twenty is a bad number to do. Yeah. Um, and you don't even three shot people. Well, you three <laughs> shot people. Oh right. God. Like if you're three shotting tag teams, K because well. You know, you you're already started. <laughs> it's like right. so counter. And then it can snipe for 120 and for its GX attack. And oh, mm. it's guard. That's so... I I think it's like it's why it stays kind of more to the it's a trap side because that ability seems so good until you sit there and think everything can play around that ability. Um, it's a trap. <laughs> I think like the deck that would have the hardest time playing around this ability is uh, Reshizek because like your attacker in that is going to be Dedene and Naganado if you're playing that engine. I mean, if you're playing Heatran, you've got tingly that Tingly Return. Oh yeah, yeah Tingly, you got <laughs> bodied by a Dedene. I mean, you do have Turtonator too, so I mean, like you have Turtonator and Heatran, but like then you're powering up all these other things that aren't your big guy, so... Eh, eh, eh. I was gonna... I, I was looking to see if it said including or uh, prevent all effects of attacks or just damage, and because it says all effects that you can't really do this... Well, it would do... Ugh. Yeah. I, or you would protect against cross division, I guess. So one card I really like in this set is the Little Guzzlord. Is that that's our next? Guy. Yeah. So Guzzlord, yes. he has a dark and he has Mountain Muncher. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck, but no. eh, okay, it is what it is. So for dark, dark, colorless, we have the Red Viking. It does 120 damage, and if he knocks something out, he takes an extra prize card with this attack. Keyword anything. Yes. So against Malmar Giratina, you one shot them because of weakness, and you take a prize. And they have to throw, uh, let's see, all their spell tag damage on you to return one shot. It's one fifty with yeah. resistance. Yeah, How, on a single prize yes. against Malmar. So, like, oh man, um, you you're know, tanking. It's a tank. We'll talk okay. a few minutes towards the end of the video as to why Dark Box may have just got a lot better with this set. But like, Darkrai Umbreon throws sixty damage on Dedenne, and you get three prizes off of Dedenne. Like uh, it, it, it's silly. You can't ignore um, this card. Like yeah. this card is good. Um, it's got Beast Tide if you want to be really cute, where it does ten extra damage for each prize card you've taken. Um, because like I didn't even really put this one on our let's talk about it list, but I think it is. You know, it is a cute card where you get ten extra damage for every prize card you're taking if it's attached to an Ultra Beast. Um, you know, if you've taken a few prizes, that red Viking gets a lot bigger a lot quicker. Um, you figure you can add up to 50 damage, making it a 4 for 170 attack with an extra prize card. <laughs> uh, we were already okay with Tyranitar Sableye doing 210 and taking an extra prize card only on GXs. So why wouldn't uh, this card be? Yeah. yeah. If, it's wor if it worked in the past, we can make it work now. Yep. Um... I don't know. You have anything else to say about Guzzlord there? I love the card. Yeah. I'm buying it. So the other card... The last Pokemon I'll mention just because... Mm, I, do I love to spend money on decks that are inherently bad? Uh, the Sneasel in this set. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Water Sneasel okay. gang! Okay. Yes! I've been waiting so, for this! There, there, there are so you... many people that if you ask them, Darkbox got so much out of this set. Um, so you're seeing you're going, who cares about a water sneasel that does nothing? <laughs> okay, the thing is, there's a supporter in this set called Professor Oak Setup, where you can search for three Pokemon of different types and put them onto your bench. Or three basics of different types and put them onto your bench. So you can split your sneasels into dark and water. So now you have two sneasels and you can play a ditto if you want to. And you theoretically have a third sneasel on your bench. Um, the biggest problem dark box was having one of them. There's several was setting up those weaviles. And now you've got a way to start the game with three sneasels on the field. Um, I've been looking at, Less so with the Ditto, but having uh, Type Null 
to go into Savali for draw. Um, it, it, I just think the Water Sneasel giving you that second Sneasel off of Professor Oak's setup is a, a silly option. We're trying to provide good info all the time, but right now we're not making a claim to uh, be 100% unbiased. Zach really knows a lot about Dark Box, if you haven't been able to tell already. I've wasted a lot of time testing that deck, <laughs> um, so I really want it to be good, and I'm not going to send. I'm not going to just say it becomes the end all be all god tier deck after this set. I just feel like it got a lot of needed support out of the set. I I, I was look. I uh, when the full set list came out, I looked through it and I uh, DM that or I went in the group <laughs> chat. I'm like, um. Are you aware that there is a water sneasel that works with oak? Right. And you're like, holy, oh, oh my, God. like this, this. I think this is the most hit, subtle but critical buff to a deck I've ever seen. Like, I I don't even know if they intended for this to happen. Like. It was so subtle, like, hey, here's this water sneasel. Here's this different type sneasel that works with a supporter, and it helps solve a problem you had with the deck. <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge. It's like under the table. It's like, hey, hey wink, $5. Wink, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. How about you play some dark box and then go 03 drop at your cup? Mm-hmm. Give me uh, I guess the one GX we haven't talked about from this set is uh, Sogaleo and Lunala GX. I don't like the card. Huh? I don't like it. No, I mean, it's a it's pretty a trap. hard no for me. The um, Light of the Goddess is about the only thing that's neat on this card, where it's a psychic psychic colorless for 200 damage. If you played Lily's uh, Best Effort or whatever they translated it to, um, it's been Lily's full power, Lily's full force. You prevent all damage done during your opponent's next turn to all of your Pokemon. And that's neat, mm -hmm. but that's where it stops being interesting. Um, you have Cosmic Burnout, Psychic, 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 Colorless for uh, 230, and then you can't use Cosmic Burnout next turn. Um, I play Channeler. I'm just yeah. kidding. I mean, I guess you can play Chandler. I guess you can switch between it and play, like, two tag switches to get a new one to attack and then use your other two tag switches to keep going. But 230 damage just isn't enough. And, like, with the uh, tag trainer attack, Lily's best effort or full force, if that's her best effort, she just needs to quit. Like, <laughs> if that's your best effort, then you just need to quit. Um, oh, man, that was We'll perfect. talk about it in a minute, but it's like you draw four cards, and then if you have more than three cards in your hand at the end of the turn, you have to discard back down to three cards or something. And it's like, oh, why? God. Why? Like, it's not even... You're like, giving it your best effort. <laughs> if that's your best <laughs> effort, just go home. <laughs> just, just go get some early lunch. Right. That was my best effort. Like, let's go get some early lunch. Predicted English name for this GX attack, Supreme Light. Yeah, that, that seems reasonable because Lord I don't knows like we can't talk about God. gods and goddesses. All right, um, now we're going to go on to some of the trainers and supporters out of the set with Island Challenge Amulet. An awkward uh, comment is calling Lily a goddess. Yeah. Awkward. And it's like, so awkward. This card... If it's attached to a Pokemon GX or EX, reduces its HP by 100, and then if it gets knocked out by damage from an attack, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. Just got banned. It, yeah, it is banned it in Japan right now. just got banned. Um, it's banned and expanded wow. in um, November stateside on November 15th. Um, part of it being, you could throw it on things like Jirachi EX, knock it, knock it out, and activate things like Surge, and um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of, it's a repressive combo, so let's just ban it right now. Um, you know, if you put down two Jirachis and knock them both out with Island Challenge Amulet and dropped your opponent to two prizes, and then you uh, Surge and Mars, you just set up silly stuff where it's 
Uh, words. <laughs> words. It's not worth mentioning. <laughs> the card is banned, the end. Like, yeah. um, but this goes back to our um, ban list and card design video where it's not it's not being used how it was intended to be used. Like you this it wasn't intended to be used with Jirachi to knock yourself out. It was like, no, you should be saving prize cards, not knocking yourself out to pull off this card. It was like, no, that's not how we intended this card to be used. Like, this card just screams that it was meant to be paired with the Flygon, um, with the Volcarona. But then, yeah, you get Degeneracy like we were just mentioning. Oh, one key thing is that it has to be damaged from opponent's attack in order for them to take one less prize card. So, you, it, the, the, the hilarious thing is, is if you reduce... The the uh, um, one thing is if you reduce your Dedenes and then they go for a cross division, they take four prizes. Yeah. Or Volcarona's if, type ability. That too. And then finally, if something like Dedene or like it, it could be any card, but um, mainly did uh, Dedene. I think you saw it from a video. Yeah. Um, if it took 60 or more damage, and then you put the island on it, they get two prizes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're not you're not doing this thing where, oh, well, I had some damage on it already, so and I know you're going to snipe it eventually, so I'll just go ahead and save the prize now. Nope. Nope. You get, they get two prizes. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about Tag Whistle, or Tag Call. Busted. Love it. This is like, if I were making a top five video, this is easily in my top five. Um, Search your deck for two tag team cards. (laughs) Two tag team cards. This is not two tag team Pokemon. This includes the tag team supporters that came out in this set. Um, You now have an easy way to search a supporter every turn. You can grab a tag team Pokemon. You can grab two tag teams. Uh, this card's going to be stupid in Guardian because, like, you grab your two Guardies and then you start going after um, Caitlyn and Cynthia, which is coming up on our talk. But dang. But dang. Why did you print this card? <laughs> Why did you print this card? You have any... Uh, Feelings about it. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Yep. Uh, next up, we'll talk about our first tag team supporter, Caitlin and Cynthia. So, this tag team supporter allows you to add a supporter card from your discard pile back to your hand, and then when you play this card, you can discard a card and draw three cards. Um, this is one of those cards that low key buffs the deck, it buffs Guardian. Um, you take out your coach stringers, you put this in, you can now recycle Green's Exploration and uh, Guardian, and you draw three cards. Um, there aren't too many decks where this is bad. Like, you can play it in Mewtwo, grab a Welder back, and still draw three cards. Um, it's good. Uh, yeah. Do you want to? I'll buy it. I'll, I'll try yeah. to get the full art. I'll get some full arts. All right, next we're going to talk about Lana's Fishing Rod. (laughs) So this card allows you to shuffle a Pokemon and a tool card from your discard pile back into your deck. Massive buff to Malmar. Mm -hmm. Massive buff to Malmar. Um, Yeah, there's so much that can be said about this card. Um, I like it in... uh, Dark box because that's gonna be the words you hear me say multiple times. Because like I'm gonna grab my Guzzlord and my Beast type back, and then just go into it with my Savali. Um, Malamar gains spell tags back, or Mal and a Malamar that got early sniped. It, it's a good card, and it's well designed because like it shuffles it back in. It doesn't put it into your hand, which yeah, thank you. you know that would be completely degenerate. Um, yeah. We don't need rescue stretcher back. I, I I do I love the um, card design that they put into this card. Um, I think it's perfectly balanced, and we've needed this. This is literally the card, the balanced um, recycling card that we've needed 
for such a long time in the standard format. Like, because Rescue Stretcher left, I think this was a perfect opportunity for uh, the fishing rod to step on in. And mm-hmm. y- you really don't need an explanation for this card, to be honest. Um, it just is good. There is no um, hidden strings or it's not a trap. It just is good. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Rosa. I will have be, been waiting to talk about this. I will be buying full arts of this card. This card makes Spear Tomb cool. I don't know if it makes it busted, but Spear Tomb is cool. It's, it's I think that's literally the perfect word to describe it. It's like it's cool. I'm not even gonna be like mean and say it's like oh yeah it's neat. I'm saying. Yeah, it's cool. Like, I don't know, because I can't definitively say if it'll be bust or anything. Right. But you get your spear tune. Like, you can literally drop a lane of fishing rod. So go with the text of the card okay, first. You're right. <laughs> you can only play this card if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Then, search your deck for a Pokemon, a trainer, and a basic energy. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shuffle up. Um, This card and teammates is what got me the idea um, to talk about Surge in our um, ban list video. But going to the card design, I absolutely love how this card is designed and Rosa is one of my favorite characters from Pokemon. Probably my favorite protagonist and I absolutely love the full art. Um, I think everything about this card is good. Um, For Spiritomb, and Malmar, you could, you lose a spear tomb, and then you fishing rod it back, or even a hustle belt. Like, so if you have spear tomb hustle belt, it gets knocked out. Oh, I'll land his fishing rod um, to literally get all of that back. Um, to literally get the spear tomb, the energy, and literally any trainer you want. Um, and I think it goes because Spirit Tomb decks were already playing Substrika. Mm-hmm. Um, you get it's fine to have a search card like that because they were running. So they were running Reds. Now we literally got a buffed version of that because Rosa gets the cards that we were looking for mm-hmm. with Reds, but m- three cards now. Yeah. Um, I think I love the card. I will be buying Full Arts. Alright. Next up on our list of things is one I'm excited for is Red and Blue. Oh, I just pulled up what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, okay. Ro- uh-huh. Roseanne's research is what I was thinking of as you were saying, Rosa. It's a uh, supporter. Search your deck for up to two in any combination of basic Pokemon and basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent and put them in your hand. And everyone played this card back when it was um, legal, you know, in the yeah. modified format. So, yes, Rosa will be popular. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> card sounded similar name, similar effect. That's true. Yep. All right, so red and blue. This is one of those tag team supporters. So, again, it's got synergy with Tag Whistle or Tag Call, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Tag Whistle because that's what I've seen it as the most. You search your deck for a Pokemon GX that evolves from one of your Pokemon and then evolve it, but it has to be able to evolve. So you can't play it on your first turn. You can't play it on the first turn a Pokemon came into play. But if it's met, you know, it's turns and play criteria, you evolve it. Then you can, when you play the card, you can discard two cards. And if you did, you can attach two energy from your deck to the Pokemon you just evolved. Um, yeah, this is one of those cards where I wish they hadn't left the, uh, they had to, but I wish they hadn't left the clause of it had to, it has to be able to evolve, uh, based on turns and in play and whatnot. That's what I was worried about too. Yeah. Um, like going back to my, so in dark box, you can play like professor Oak setup on turn one, get your water sneasel, your dark sneasel and your type null onto the field. Then you can rid and blue to get either your type null or your weavile, whichever one you need, accelerate the energy. Um, and that's not bad. I mean, it feels pretty good. Um, I like it in Volcarona too, because you can get your Volcaronas out of the deck and have them two thirds of the way ready to attacking. 
Um, with the Flygon we talked about earlier, it's a good jump from the Brava with this card. Um, the one thing that I want to like caution people that are thinking about this card is it doesn't work with Ditto Prism Star. <laughs> the Pokemon does not evolve from Ditto Prism Star. Ditto's ability lets them evolve, and you get to evolve from the hand on Ditto Prism Star's ability. So just one of those it can catch you by surprise if you're not thinking about it when you're building with that in mind as a judge this is a sticky situation i know <laughs> you're not looking forward to having to explain 20 times a day hey i'm retired from judging now so i don't have to explain that situation oh, at all yay. score um yeah um I know we um, moved on from Reza, but I just realized, in combination with Red and Blue, um, if you're going back to the... Uh, um, and also connecting with the uses in terms of Dark Box, you can... The, the line of play could be... Um, and we'll, it could probably be saved for if we ever talk about Dark Box or a meta forecast, but... Professor Oak's setting, red and blue to get the first Weavile. If they go for the Weavile and knock it out, I just Rosa for Weavile, a trainer, and a dark energy. Um, but in terms of red and blue itself, um, definitely awesome with Weavile. But other than that, I would. With the Flygon, I. Yeah, I know. Well, I think it's the thing. It's like any deck that's running Savali can play red and blue effectively because you get energy acceleration and draw out of your supporter. <laughs> so, because I mean, like you discard two cards, and that makes Type Null's disc or uh, Savali's disc reload a lot better. You accelerate down to Vibrava, who can't be targeted by supporters, are a great catcher. Um, you know. I think one thing that like this deck, uh, this card warrants consideration for is making sure you're playing enough Pokemon communication in the event that you have the GX that you want to evolve in your hand, so you can toss it back into the deck with communication. Nice. Um, but yeah. Can I? Um, this might be an RTFC mm -hmm. moment, but maybe someone out there has the question um, for the flag on deck. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I? Put fly, uh, the Vibrava down, and then Red and Blues into the Flygon, or some combination. Like, I don't believe you can, no, but if someone had it... You have to wait the turn to get it. Right. Yeah. So if someone out there was thinking about the Flygon deck, that's why the text that you can't put it on the first turn, or the first turn it was in play, mm -hmm. that's why I'm iffy about Flygon, and the red and blues yeah but for stage ones go for it. it's a, mm -hmm. it's like for stage ones cool but for stage twos no yeah uh we'll come back to that card a uh, clay good I, I i well i like the card but i am i i so we're going to discard the top seven cards yeah. of our deck, revealing all our yeah, revealing all the items that we find, and we're going to put the items into our hand and discarding the rest. So it feels just like it. It feels like a better and worse Hapu. Yeah. It feels like so. The thing with Hapu is that you were intending to discard a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. but with Clay, you discard more. But you get all item cards. Yeah. So it's like, in terms of Mewtwo, you'd much rather have... Clay, like, Clay completely replaces Hapu in terms of... Because uh, if you're... You can only use one supporter for turn, so getting Wilder's like, okay, uh, I guess I'll get to get for next turn. But then you were intending to discard the Pokemon anyway, so why not look one extra... And right. get all of the items from that, and then just trash the Pokemon. Because it would be your luck that you'd hit no items, and you'd just rage about it after the round was over. <laughs> but to be fair, you would discard. <laughs> yeah, you would discard all the Pokemon. Right. Still, you know. um, feels it like a better be supporters and stadiums in your case. True. That that would be me. That's why I'm not going to play the card because yep. that would be my luck. 
grass is always greener. The grass is always All greener. Right. Another favorite of mine from this set is Chaotic Swell. Oh, yes. So this is a stadium card that says, when a stadium is played to replace the stadium card, discard both stadiums. Yes, 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 yes. Um, this card is going to be what keeps decks that fold to power plant from just folding as hard. Like if you start the chaotic swell and then they have to repl- they drop the power plant, they can't play another power plant. They played their stadium for turn, so they're stuck with no stadium on the field. Additionally, it discards it, so they lose it. Yep. So they're doing two for one, and then you win the train. Yeah. We'll see a um, slight increase in Unbroken Bond's Mar Shadow. Yeah, like Mar Shadow is going to be even more important if you're reliant on having a certain stadium on the field. Um, but I don't think you can afford to run more than one Mar Shadow per deck. So, you know, if you if you as the player playing the Mar Shadow starts the stadium war, you're still going to get taken over by the swells and whatnot. Mewtwo will definitely play. Like, it'll be, I think it'll be Furnaces and Swells. Yeah. All right. Um, Lily's full power, Lily's best effort. Let's go uh, home. Lily just, no. Go home, Lily. Go home, Lily. There you go. Lily's best effort. Go home. Draw four cards from your deck. That's good. If you have three or more cards in your hand at the end of the turn, Shuffle cards into your deck until you have two cards remaining. Oh, Why would I do this to myself? <laughs> Lily, like, go home. You tried your best. It's because they already had a good Lily card. Yes. So now she's giving her best effort. And this is coming like on the eve of... Uh, yeah. You know, the sword and shield first turn supporter rule where Lily's best supporter suddenly just got a lot worse. <laughs> she gave her best effort, but I think it's time Lily goes home. You know, like, if this card had said something like, draw to you have four, and then if you have no cards in your hand, draw to you have two at the end of your turn, you know, that would be a supporter I would play. Interesting. If you dropped everything after draw four cards, I might even consider playing it. But dang. But dang. I would almost really rather just play how and draw three cards. <laughs> and like when we're talking about when how and Sharon and every one of these cards that gets printed that says draw Tierno. three cards. Tierno. Yeah, Tierno is better than this card. Let's just stop talking about this card and go on to Lily's Clefairy doll. Lily, go home. Lily, right, go So home. Lily's Clefairy doll lets you play it as if it's a basic Pokemon, basic colorless Pokemon. It has 30 hit points at any time before your turn. You can discard this card. No, put it on the bottom of the deck. put it on the bottom of your deck um, and discard all cards attached to it. This card can't retreat. If this card's knocked out, your opponent can't take a prize card from it. Um, Robo Substitute buffed. Yeah. I mean, if you if your opponent's like, oh, I'm just going to not retreat, in, I'm not going to attack your Clefairy doll, so you don't have an attacker, you're going to run out. Nope, I just put it on the bottom of my deck, and I get it back in a couple turns. I mean, I think you could discard Robo Sub at any time, but this you is... You could, but oh, like, if you don't run need, out of them. Yeah, and then um, they looked at uh, this, oh, well, maybe we could help him out, and say, well, all right... You're trying to stall me? I'll just save this uh, Clefairy for later. Yep. Um, we're going to go on to Evan's super happy fun time here with Whoa. the card Galelba and Bryson Man. The most. So this is like the card that is nicknamed the movie stars. If you didn't play Pokemon Black and White, this is Sabrina and Bryson, the gym leaders, in their movie star persona from Pokestar Studios. I did not know that. Thank I you for knew the that. backstory. Yeah. I don't that's how I came up with that name. Yes. Like, <laughs> That's how I came up with that nickname. I was like, oh my gosh, I remember these guys. So um, this card is going to let you discard the top three cards of each player's deck 
And then you can discard three other cards from your hand, and if you do, each player has to discard down to three Pokemon on their bench. Busted card, most busted card in the set. I am buying full arts of these. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe they printed this card. I can't believe more people aren't freaking out about this card. Literally just an instant discard three. Okay, just keep in mind, we had Team Rocket's handiwork that said you needed to flip for the discard. This supporter says, no, instant three, instant three discard. And coming with Surge that just got banned and expanded, but it's still a thing in standard, I can go Surge, Bellow, Movie Stars, Movie Stars. That's six cards from the top of your deck. Keep in mind, the we literally have a GX card that you can only use once per game that says discard five. This, literally, you can use it over and over and discard six. What? And now the... Cr the, the biggest problem is that Pidgeotto and Shedinja now have a win condition. <laughs> yeah, the best of one condition. I mean, even in best of um, three, it was like, oh, well, I can just stall you because, like, you're just going to do one card. And as long as I can survive the Ice Wing, in terms of a mill, it's now like, oh, I don't need to rely on Ice Wing anymore. I'm just going to use Bellop and Bryson Man. Yeah. You can and speed up the gameplay on things. Like yeah. the clock goes a lot faster. You're not playing against time. You could bring this into a best of one 30 minute Swiss and be able to keep pace if you're paying attention to what you're recurring. Um, you know, Pidgey Control is going to be what sees the most use out of this card. And we could talk about bad card design for time on end. Um, this is horrible card design. Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. I love the card. This is my if if they. This is like a card that I would design. That would be like my greatest fantasy card that I would in my dreams just love to throw down and watch my opponents as they cry. Mm -hmm. But from a car design standpoint, are you insane? Like the co the quote unquote cost of discarding three from the deck. <laughs> it's like of each player's deck. It's like, oh well, both players discard. Right. Um, did you forget about Orangaroo? That l you literally do the Belbum Bryson Man, and our Pidgeotto is literally the deck that wants to dig through its deck, and Shedinja, that literally wants to discard things. And then, okay, Orangaroo, or Brock's Grit, or Lana's Fishing Rod, eh, there was no Reaper. We literally, um, talked about it with Miss Mages in our ban list video about horrible card design that you have a strong effect at the cost of something, but we're back, we're literally back to, we're having a strong effect, but joke's on you. I wanted to do that. I wanted to discard myself. And I guess like, as we saw in like the finals of Atlantic City, the only dangerous side to this is you're increasing mm -hmm. your discard speed and a well-timed mag cargo coming down is gonna end the game faster on you too. True. So, I mean, yeah, the card is really good, and, like, we're going to ignore the, like, obvious implication of discarding three just to talk about the other effect first. Yeah, we haven't... We like, just talked about one effect. We didn't even talk about the bonus effect. Evan, before you go on, you just gave me a great idea for future content for this show mm -hmm. is what we can do a top five, a top five list of... Um, Cards that should never have been printed in standard. This is one of them. I, I this is would like one to of do them. That. Yes, this but is one on. of them. So, so okay. this is like one of my favorite uses of this is in RCS Galgapalkia. What's the effect for like? Or I was, where you discard three and go down to three bench Pokemon. Right. We. I don't think we did. We read it yet. Or? Yeah. Okay. I, I was just making sure. Yeah. So the nice thing about this is like you get your Keldeos set up. 
you don't want to leave six prizes and tag teams on the field, you can Biloba and Bryson Mann your own Dialga Palkias off. And, you know, hopefully you had the foresight to great catcher or somehow grab one of the Didines off the bench before they disappear. And you can smack into it. Um, and expanded being able to like go um, turbo dark and then clear off all your shamans and the dinners you put down so they can't cross division you you got options with it it's a you know it's neat my biggest thing that i'm surprised i don't think i've heard a lot of people mention but what was the card that kept biting malamar in the butt Parallel City. This card can be used in any deck, and you just Parallel City Malmar, the deck I hate. I hate Malmar so much. This is literally my fantasy card in every single way, shape, and I'll form. I'll say counterpoint, though, is they now have Giratina and... They, but they have it in front. Like they'll have it. They'll have Giratina in the front, and then they'll have a Jirachi, Malamar, Malamar, and maybe like a maybe like the dinner or something. And then you um, parallel them to make them decide. I mean, maybe they'll have like. I think the thing with parallel though is they had to counter it before they got their bench space back, and this they just get their bench space back on their turn. Maybe. So... Like, Parallel would stop... So if you did it turn one, you wouldn't be able to flood your um, bench with NKs. Right. But this is, like, the problem with Bellaber and Bryson, man, is because it's not a constant thing, it's just a Mm one-time discard. So I I do see that. Um, Yeah. But I did get hyped when I see like, <laughs> wait, you, we can ma- we can limit Malamar's bench. Ooh. But I love this card. I might be overhyping it, but I think this card is nuts. I think it's horrible card design. Let's go to another card that can be really messed up. Is Misty and Lorelai? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so this is like the tag supporter that at first glance a lot of people kind of short sold, and it says, "Search your deck for up to three water energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck." When you play this card, you may discard five other cards from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your water Pokemon can use their GX attack, even if you have already used your GX attack. So, let's just say Pidgey Stall being able to reset Cold <laughs> Crush multiple times is, you know, come on, Pokemon. Like, come on, Pokemon. You used to be able to say, all right, if I can just survive Cold Crush, we're fine. And then, and then Pidgey Stall just says. Huh. What if I did it again? What if I did it again? And again, and again, and again. And the, the the other thing is, is that you search your deck for water energies. What type does Pidgeotto play? Water energies. Why are you buffing Pidgeotto? <laughs> oh, no. Um, and, I mean, this is also, like, a card that when we talked about, like, the Greens, Blastoise, and Piplup deck, um, it helps that out, too, in a far less substantial way. And you can always guarantee you've got three Warder Energy to slap down and uh, heal some pokes. But, um, yeah, the implication of it in terms of, like, Pidgeotto being able to throw the Cold Crush again, I don't know. I'm hoping, like... The one thing that I'll hope in terms of, like, Pidgeotto gain some checks is the amount of um, Reshizek. If competent people can play it, problem one, um, focusing on the Naganadals in that matchup so you can't just deny all their energy forever because of charging up, um, you know, that's that's what you're kind of left hoping and praying for. Um. One funny story that I want to um, tell that happened at League Mm -hmm. is that um, people were, we were sort of talking about um, the creation trio with Keldeo, and I I was like, oh yeah, I can just use Keldeo to two-shot everything, or I can Great Catcher, and I can Resolute Blade, a Dedene, or, and then just two shot a Dedene and just instantly win the game. And then you're, Zach's like, 
Oh, what? <laughs> That's stupid. You can't. What are you talking about? Like, he looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, uh, Misty and Lorelai? Yeah. Uh, I can use I can use Resolute Blade if I really wanted if to. Really that <laughs> if you really wanted to, I can still use Resolute Blade for a bajillion damage. I mean, even still, if they fill up their, I think that is an interesting combo. Mm -hmm. Um, like if you knock out something early and then finish the game by Misty and Lorelai Resolute Blade because you um bent because your hand. Uh, because it pretty much is um, like Dangerous Rogue, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and that'll, yeah, 250 plus the original. from Altered mm -hmm. Creation. There's your 280. Like, it can finish out games. All right. Um, next up, let's go to Malawin Mana. Yay. This is a card I initially slept on until I rise. We're going to go back to a number we mentioned earlier. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. When you play this card, you can discard two energy from your hand. If you do, heal 120 from... This... The uh, translation on Poke Beach is not correct. Uh, Poke Beach has from the new active Pokemon. The English printing says the Pokemon that went to the bench gets to heal the 120. And that makes a lot more sense in general. But, like... Um, Savali with his 120. Alolan Persian with the 120... Um, you just erase a turn of damage and you can, you know, go in between things to start swinging with. Um, it, it's good. You know, you have a, a switch that can't be blocked. If you're running low on your switching options, you Caitlyn Cynthia and let this be your grab back target. <sighs> yeah. When I first saw this card, I went into the group and said, This card's busted. This card is going to be good. And I felt like he was kind of like, eh, I don't know, Evan. You're just being dumb. Eh, <laughs> eh. And then later down the road, Zach's like, at, I think he was at League. You're like, I slept on this card. I like it now. And then, like, everyone was a trap. Like, I don't. I, no, no, I, I told I you. I, I told you this card was card, good. Yeah. I told you. Um, and then we'll go to Holland Guzma. This is probably for me, like, my least favorite of the tag supporters. Definitely. Definitely. Um, so, Holland Guzma lets you search your deck for a stadium card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. When you play this card, you can discard two cards from your hand. If you do, you may also search your deck for a Pokemon tool and special energy card and reveal them and put them into your hand. Um, I, I, I have a hard time finding, like, where I would use this for. Like, maybe Spirit Tomb to, like, grab Shrine, grab Rainbow. Hustle Bell, grab Rainbow. Rainbow. Like, that's where I see it with its best use, but I, which is good in and of itself, but it doesn't have a home in like every deck, like every other tag supporter has had. Like every tag, uh, uh, except for what Lily's best effort or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, you know that's well, they're not the tag support. They just activate the tag team effect. But I just have a hard time finding like what decks I would use this in right now. We don't have a lot of exciting tools outside, like. I feel like you could play this in Flygon. Like, you grab your martial arts dojo and Island Challenge Amulet or Karate Belt, and then you just don't grab the special energy, but, eh, you know. Um, I, when people said, oh my god, you can search my, my, the, oh god, I was giggling. I was geeking so hard when people said, Oh my god, Tropical Beach decks are busted now! <laughs> um, first of all, we've literally had a card called Stadium Nav. I just want to point that out. We've literally had a card called Stadium Nav. And like, half uh, the excitement of Tropical Beach was, you played a supporter, then you beached. Yeah. This Not is, like a supporter that just grabbed your stadium. You know, like, it's just like, what? I mean, I think it was like to it was like to be fair. Oh, you grab the beach and you discard the two, then you can search, and then it's like, I mean, maybe if you were that desperate in shock lock, maybe you could drop a beach for a Guzman Hala mm -hmm. just to be able to say I 
I found my beach, I found my memory energy, and I found my stealthy hood. Yeah. That's where I would like to see the um, card. But um, the other thing is, like, there was a video um, that I think got a lot of hate that I definitely disagreed with. Uh, it was why Power Plant is a bad card um, in terms of, like, why it's not worth being used. Um, obviously, I I disagree that it should be. I it it I I disagree that it should not be used, um, and that it is a good card. Um, but Man, that, these one guys of looks so cool. <laughs> don't you want? Don't you want to be? These We're guys? looking at the full art. Oh man. Um, the point I was gonna bring up is that he mentioned in his video that Guzman Hala can be used in Mewtwo. To grab a counter stadium when power plant comes. The problem with that is we already have stadium nav. And, and the with it's it a is, support. I probably want a welder yeah. on Mewtwo turns anyway. So it's like we're continually finding ways that this card instead of a card, when, you, when you're looking at a card, you should be finding more and more ways the card is good, not more and more ways the card is bad. Like that's a horrible, yeah. Like that's a horrible sign. So like it's a no from me. Uh, let's go over to uh, Ends Resolve. Mm, I know like, you have some thoughts on this one. Yeah, this is a card that like I think has a very divisive opinion on it. And Ends Resolve is you discard the top six cards of your deck and attach all basic energy in any way you like to one uh. To it, one of your to one of your bench dragon. dragon Pokemon. So, uh, I guess my problem here is if your Pikazek, I mean your Reshizek's already in the active. You don't get to power up Reshizek. Um, it's an all or nothing effect. If you don't hit but one or two energy, it feels really bad that that was your supporter for turn. Um, you're turboing like if in the builds that I've seen using Ends Resolve, you're kind of turboing with Dedene, and you may have gone too far into your energy supplies just off the Dedene. The only use that I really like this card for is just activating uh, Fabled Tag Bolts or whatever the GX attack is called that gives you the double 170 snipe, and uh, it's great against Dedene. But mm, I don't. I don't know. I feel like I want more out of my GX and not having to hope that my opponent bench two to Dene in the course of the game. I mean, I have so many memories of whiffing Max Elixir, and yeah. now I have this support. I mean, you would literally play Max Elixir, and there would be no energy. Mm-hmm. And now we have End Resolve. That's your supporter, and then you see no energy. And you're like, I mean, well, I was real. Life. <laughs> I mean, with Max Elixir, you're fine with getting one, but when you're playing Ends Resolve, mm-hmm. you're intending for it to be like three or more. And like, right. what are the chances that you're gonna see three or more cars be energies? I've like, played Max Elixir enough times to know it's never three. Right. <laughs> you, like you're never. You're always getting one or two. Like if you're getting three or four, some, you better sh- you should be shuffling better. Like <laughs> your your cards are. You're having little... other problems there. Yeah. <laughs> if you're seeing like six energies on the top of your deck, uh, we have a Houston. We have a problem. You need to call a, a magician. Take your theme deck back home. Yeah, like, <laughs> ex- like we got bigger issues. If you're hitting three or more energies off of end resolve. Yeah. It's a... Yeah. Let's go up to uh, Professor Oak's... Oh, uh, yeah. I think the official name was Setup. Setting. It's right well, there. It says setting. I know. I think the English, when it got leaked, was right. Setup. Oh. Um, so this card allows you to search your deck for three Pokemon, three basic. basic Pokemon of different types and put them onto your bench. And what is that useful for other than Sneasel? Um, in BEM... You can get B.E.M. Marie Pidgeotto. Ooh, ooh, that's cool. You can get B.E.M. Pidgeotto Jirachi. Um, uh, In Malamar, it gets you two of the two cards with Jirachi Malamar, which are Jirachi Inke, whatever. Um, 
anything that plays Jirachi automatically adds a second Pokemon to it. Or um, or uh, Ditto Prism Star. Yeah, anything that's evolving Ditto Prism Star is a freebie. Um, depending on like what Pikazek you're playing, you can get Hoopa, Jirachi, insert electric type Pokemon here. Oh my god, um, I love that. There's there's just so many ways that you can really apply this card. Um, it's not for every deck. And that's like the thing that annoys people is it feels limiting until you think about like how many ways you can use it. Like um you know, let's talk Pidgeotto too. You can get Pidgey, Jirachi, Articuno and toss them onto your bench. Yeah. So I mean you've got I mean, I know you don't necessarily want to sit there I mean Articuno on your bench laughing, but you know, abilities are Jirachi, Turnator, Fire Pokemon. So, you know. For Pidgeotto, I see it as a fifth Elms. Like, because getting Elms turn one feels so critical that I can run one or two Oaks, and that essentially, it's like, well, I whiffed Elms, but at least I'm getting um, a Jirachi and a Ditto, or a Jirachi Mm -hmm. and a a Pidgey. Because it says up two, so you don't have to get the Articuno. Right. Or the the thing that I also love, um, I think Mimikyu has 70 HP or Mm -hmm. something like that. And I was mentioning how I really think that Mimikyu will be used in Pidgeotto. So there's a better third Pokemon to get from it. Yeah. Um, And I guess the last card card. we'll talk about is... (laughs) Roller Skater. uh, Nah, Jiggin. Great Catcher. (gasps) Hey, um, Mahone, uh, no, uh, no, right. not to so be So this lovely, this lovely card allows you to discard two cards from your hand, and if you can't discard two cards, you can't play this card. Switch your opponent's uh, bench Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX with their active Pokemon. Um, you can play any amount of items in your turn. Mm. So it's a more consistent cu- custom catcher. Um... But you don't have the versatility of Custom Catcher. So against like anything that's single prizers, it's a dead card. But anything that has any GXs in it, it's a very live card. Um, it's also great that with Savali, you can thin two cards with it to get more off of Disc Reload. Creation Trio, you can target down to Dene's and try to win the game off two to Dene's if you pulled off Altered Creation. Um, I like it. I always loved um, like buying uh, my Game Boy Advance, mm-hmm. Game Boy Advance SP. I could play the original Game Boy games on them, and so that means Nintendo knows about backwards compatibility, which mm-hmm. is cool. Because this works on GXs and EXs. Yeah. I think it's a lot more fair version of the original Pokemon Catcher where, you know, the people that are running, like, basic, like, non-GXs get away with it and they're not, you know, harassed for it. And then the people that want to play the big stuff, they get harassed for it. And I think that's fair. (laughs) It is, I think, so... Around nationals, um, our last national or intercontinentals, um, this card got leaked, and I thought I did not um, under I, maybe it was a mistranslation or something, um, but it was like obviously when the first got leaked, so um, I wasn't completely clear on the card, and I um, didn't understand that. GX and EX was on there mm-hmm. and I was scared because I thought the only requirement was discard two and I freaked out. I was like, oh no, why? No, no, no. But literally adding the GX and EX is what makes this card so well designed and it will be played. And it it is a massive buff to um single prize attackers. Um I know other um Poketubers and set reviewers have already mentioned that um, that it is a huge buff to single prize attackers like Malmar and maybe Behem. But 
when we're talking about car design, I love how it's designed. Oh man, so for for being, we've I feel like they finally realize that you need to have a huge requirement for gust effects. Like so, in black and white, we had catcher. And that was like when the gold one like a hundred dollars, like yeah, it was crazy. Was then they are like, "All right, well maybe we need to make this a supporter." And then they're like, "All I right." We went that far. Let's surround it to have a coin flip. Yeah, too. If it's like, we're gonna make this a supporter, but if you still want to run the item, we're gonna have to make it a coin flip. Mm-hmm. Then. Um, they're like, all right, well, these cards are leaving. Let's have Guzma see how this works. Well, Guzma actually turned out to be a better Lysander. All right, well, Guzma will eventually rotate, and we've got Custom Catcher. So eventually, like, we know this card sucks now, but eventually y'all will have to, like, debate whether Custom Catcher, um, needing to have two at the same time... Um, for any Pokemon is worth it. And then they're like, maybe they didn't think this far, or maybe I'm giving them too much credit, uh, but maybe they were thinking, huh, maybe we can bring back the catcher, but we're going to have to severely limit this. <laughs> um, and I love, I think this is the most balanced um, and well designed, and I don't even know if they intended it, but amazing job on um, the car designers for having custom catcher and great catcher at the same time. Like, it's like I can spend three or four deck spots and need two at the same time to bring up whatever I want. Or you can discard two from the hand, save some deck spots, but you can only bring up GX and EX. Yeah, I think this is a case where, like, any deck that's going to center around greens is going to just continue to play customs because it's more mm-hmm. versatile. But anything that has, like, that uh, Savali line in it is going to focus on these just because it's going to be easier to get into and you don't want as many just cards that you might not be able to burn to draw cards off of Savali. I don't think this card is worth five dollars. <laughs> I think it'll settle down at two. Yeah, like I saw the pre orders for full grip and um Mahone made the video and I think the first card that he went to it's funny how we've done this like inversely. Like the first card he talked about was Great Catcher and this is one of our last cards. And um I think he started the video like, so some of y'all have been asking about Great Catcher, and I literally uh, said to my screen, yes, Mo, why is it, why are y'all charging $5 for this card? I'd really like to know. Forget about meta manipulation, how about, you know, Price using man- your words to, yeah. <laughs> Price manipulation. Right? Like, huh, oh, man, can you tell me why this card's uh, $5? I'm definitely waiting until this is like $2. Sorry for, like, I hope that doesn't come across as mean or anything, but that was my initial reaction to watching your video and seeing Full Grip charging $5. So, you know, I guess probably things that you can look forward to is we'll probably kind of break down some top fives. I mean, we've given, um, you know, hints as to things that we like out of this set, but we may just, you know, break it down because I think... The, the thing that I've always had an issue with uh, streamers doing is doing the top five cards or top ten cards of yeah. a set. Because, to me, the only cards you can put in the top ten are trainers and universally useful Pokemon. Because, uh, you know, Pik- uh, Reshizek may be stupid good, but it's not doing anything in Pidgeotto Control. So how is it the best card if it doesn't buff... A majority of decks so we may kind of break it down for you guys in terms of like the top five pokemon the top five supporters the top five items um we were not going to break down top five special energy because all <laughs> energy is the only one we got in there so you know it'll be good times 
Maybe three. I mean, do you think five is a little much? Or three? Maybe three. Maybe three. Maybe how about three notable cards that jumped out of out of, at us when like our three favorite cards that jumped out of at us. No, we'll break uh, it down. Or oh, we forgot Will. Should we mention Will? Or uh, we can mention Will. Will Will is a great guy. Like when you hear people say fire at Will, don't shoot at this Will. <laughs> Um, he is a supporter that lets you choose the result of a coin flip if it is related to um, an attack, <laughs> a trainer card, or an ability. If I remember this right, as they're trying to pull it up the for me. first time. Yep. Uh, for the first time, a trainer, an ability, or an attack. Um, interesting ruling that I happen to be reading um if you are confused, you cannot use will to bypass the confusion flip because it is not part of the attack. Train a <laughs> card or ability. Yep. Well, wow. I mean, so just keep that in mind. Um, it is neat for things like super scoop up where you can just say, I'm getting hits on this super scoop up and you go for it. Just me, just remember that it is the first time you flip a coin. Um, so if you're not thinking about when you're playing your cards, you might not get to choose the coin flip you want to choose. Man, I feel sorry for the guys um, who make PTCGO help, who have to program this card. I feel. Bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of card design, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool how it's designed. But I don't know. I don't see this card like. I mean, supporters that have this kind of effect aren't played that often. Like, if you're playing a supporter, you want, like, a straw draw or search effect. This isn't promoting your game stay in any way, really. Like, you're doing this as, like, something like Super Scoop Up and to try to substitute for Acerola. Because I... Acerola busted. (laughs) But when you say, all right, you need Super Scoop Up and Will... To get the ace roll effect, balance. that's so much more balanced. Thank you. That's so much more balanced. Uh, but yeah, we. I just wanted to uh, bring that up because we did forget about that. Um, but yeah, on to our top cards. You, you, you want to move on to the top cards? Someone with that? I don't have a top list. I was about to say, I would save it for another time. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're saving yeah. that? Oh, yeah. okay. I thought this was like something to wrap up by, but I, okay. I, I Yeah, we, we were getting into discussion <laughs> on future show topics, but maybe we should do that <laughs> off air. Yeah. 